Hey, everybody. Hi. Here's us. Here we are. With these people. <laughs> yes. Who are you? The yeah. Santos Pieve family. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Did you hear that name? <laughs> Spell it. S-A-N-T-O-S-P-I-E-V-E. Say it. Santos Pieve. Okay. Sexy. None of you will be able to say it, but believe her, that's her name because she married this guy. Right. <laughs> yes. So. Yes. My these, sexy. These people, <laughs> this lady right here was the concierge at our wedding. She took yes. care of my wife and made sure she was beautiful yes. and her hair was bright. She's and she perfect. got down the aisle without tripping and on yes. time. Yes. And she right. carried her dress around so nobody yes. stepped mm -hmm. on it and got footprints on it. She was like the one. And look at this hair. Yes. She did this today. Yes. As an anniversary gift, she gave my wife her blessing. wedding hair back. Yes, and I got it, and I'm keeping it, okay, for as long as I can, and then I have to go back to the curls. See, so she, so she made it look like her hair. Anniversary yes. present. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Anniversary. Yes. anniversary present. Yes. So anyway, today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, because when women are trying to find the guy they want, they have these things in their imagination. They've seen Fabio and they've seen uh, Tyrese and they've seen all these images of what they want a man to be. Father, Hunks. maybe not him. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> the topic today is what? What's your topic? Finding your sexy in any size. Finding your sexy in any size. Yes. Qualify what sizes we're talking about. <laughs> you know, for me, for example, I wanted your typical six foot, six foot one, 235. Did you marry him? Yes. Don't you see he's 6'5"? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, in, right. in, in, in like, imperial measure, right. how tall is he? He's actually 5'4". Five 5'4". Four. Five four. <laughs> but he missed it by one foot, one inch. But, but at home, that's right. I am 6'5". There you go. And she says he's 6'5 in her heart, then he's 6'5". Yes. Right? And yes. they've been married 22 years, so obviously something years. is working. Yes. Now, I know a lot of women are married to a 6'5 dude, and they can't stay married two years, let alone 22. Hello, 22. So height doesn't make a marriage work. No. What no. makes a marriage work? Your three C's. Hmm. Compromise, compassion, and... Drum roll. Can you remember the last one? Consistency. <laughs> communication. Thank you. Communication. communication. Four C's. Yes. Consistency. <laughs> you, keep, you have those C's. You're there. You're, you're, you're there. That's Absolutely. It. Yes. That's it. Yes. So let's hear from the giant himself. Self. Yes. My big sex. How, how, did you, how did you take down this Amazon <laughs> when your stature didn't quite meet hers? How did you roll up? Communications. Mm -hmm. I mean... Obviously, well, first I, you had to get past the first glance. There you go. <laughs> so before you could communicate. Well, well, I I approached her with the with the sensible, you know, conversation. I didn't I didn't try and approach things like, hey, I'm gonna marry you next year, you know, or I want you to be my wife next month. So we just approached everything as a friend. So we communicated. We learned from each other. We had some experiences in the past, and we shared that with each other. And once we got past that, everything else fell into place. Mm -hmm. So, real men come in all sizes. Yes. That's it. <laughs> it's Say not it just an appearance thing. There's what the media teaches us is the image of a man. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then there's the quality and the character of the man. And I can yes. tell you firsthand, this man has mad character. I Absolutely. Mean, he yes. is a true leader mm -hmm. on a level that y'all don't even understand. I don't know if he wants to tell you now, but this man's a leader. <laughs> <laughs> He's a king, okay, That's in right. every sense of the word. Yes. You have to take care of your queen. But you have to communicate. She cannot read your mind, and you're not gonna be perfect. There're gonna be some boop, some boop, uh, bumps and bruises. But mm -hmm. if you communicate, you can work through it. Yes. Did sure. you find that women looked at you different because of your height? Did 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 you were you able to effectively talk to women before her, or or, did, or was she a special woman that recognized? Well, yeah. Obviously, uh, first I had to be self confident. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to have confidence in myself and I walk in a room and I'm the tallest man in the room and I'm the right. loudest man in the room in any situation. But that comes with, with you, your experience in life. You know, you got to have a job. You got to be able to stand on your two feet and you got to be able to provide because yes. women want security. Mm -hmm. So that if you want to be the king of the jungle, you have to be provider. You have to be a, a, a protector. And I provided those things for her. She felt comfortable and we've been married for 22 years. Great. That's a great now, testament. Now, you, you worried about peer pressure? How Absolutely. did you feel when you, when you said, this is, 
My man, I'm a little taller than his, but believe it or not, <laughs> it, it really wasn't because mm -hmm. my husband has so much confidence in himself, and that's what makes him so sexy to me. See? Because yeah. for does. him, Dude when he walks, confidence. you know, he his chest is upright, he's looking straight for it, and he was like, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bet you're wondering how I got this. Because <laughs> I'm sexy. Well, yes. I ain't gonna lie. When I first saw him, they roll... Girl. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw him, they rolled into the wedding and I'm like, oh, he's a little She's kind of tall. And, he's... and then I observed. I said, man, his presence is amazing. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm like, your presence. See. You know, and there's a superficial what you want to see when you mm -hmm. first look, mm -hmm. and then there's when you look and what you actually see. Yes, I'm like yes, sir. that dude right there. Yes. He was the most outstanding man that I observed at the wedding, Thank where you. I was gravitating mm -hmm. toward just mm -hmm. watching him, mm -hmm. and as he stood so tall while standing, what we would want to see is small. That's mm -hmm. right. His character is bigger than his stature. Yes, yes, sir. That's what keeps people together, and this is the only time I've seen. A woman with a man who's a bit shorter than her, sometimes even significantly. Mm -hmm. But when that man carries himself like a real man, all she sees is love. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to elaborate? Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you. I call him Tick Sexy for a reason. Because that's how he carries himself. And he makes me, he doesn't make me feel like I have to wear flats. The higher mm -hmm. the heel, the happier my husband gets. Mm -hmm. That's confident. Um, that's, <laughs> that's, that's all you know. <laughs> and knowing that my husband has seen me truly at my worst and still can love me through it, mm -hmm. that's that says a lot. Mm -hmm. That says a lot. Mm -hmm. And it, it's it's undeniable. And once you have that and you have that sense of confidence, he's here for me. He's got me. I don't have to worry about it. When he steps in, I'm secure. I don't have to watch over my shoulder. I have to look at my back. Mm -hmm. My man's got me. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's the only man that made you feel like that? Absolutely. You see this smile? You see this right here? This is not on, uh, just on love. I still eat. You know, I do food too. This but is 22 years love. later, people. 22 <laughs> you know. years. And, you know. and they act like we do in our first year. I mean, <laughs> It's amazing. Believe it or not, people think that everything. we are newlyweds. Yes. And then when we tell them, we're like, mm -hmm. they're like, what? I'm like, no, we're not. Newlyweds, but I would have thought, no, we're not. And wait a minute, you want to hear something else? How long your mama been married to your daddy? Fifty-two yes. years. Wow, wow. five-two. If you're lucky enough <laughs> to find somebody that came from a good family, I came from a good family. She came from a good family. How about you on the end over there? Yes, yes, sir. Good family. <laughs> if you can find somebody that saw a unbroken example of how it's supposed to work, yes. you're way ahead of the game. Now, they're not easy to find. No. But if you meet somebody that came from a good, solid family, yes. I don't care what you think about what. Slow your butt down and give them some extra consideration because you may have a jewel like one of us That's four. right. Yes. You got to open your mind, ladies, and get rid of that list that you made in your head. He's yes. got to have this. He's got to be this height. He's got to have this, that, and the other. Get rid of that idea, Absolutely. that notion. Dismiss it and be open and receptive because you might be letting Mr. Wright pass you right by because you thought he had to be a certain night. He mm -hmm. had to have a certain income. He had to drive a certain car. He mm -hmm. had to have a certain type of house. Police, get rid of it. Get rid of it because you may end up losing, losing out on someone terrific and wonderful. And when he has this, that, and the other, he usually has some other stuff <laughs> that, that wasn't you on your want. list. And that other is what's going to get you. Like, you may have another woman. You may have another baby while you're having yours. That's you may right. have a other That's agenda. Right. He may have other sexual preferences. You know, all kind of uh -huh. others are mixed into that little concoction. That's right. And that goes for women, too. Mm -hmm. You know, this, that, and the other. Yeah, there's a lot of others. Absolutely. So you have to look right. to what you need. You have to separate what you want from what you need. Yes. And, and there's a big difference. us four took the time to mature and mm -hmm. understand what we needed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Over what we wanted. Yes. But we mm -hmm. got what we wanted Good because point. we got what we needed. Yeah. Right. Because we're happy. Yeah. Ain't going to stay that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be like, oh, wow, four years later. I mean, they're breaking up too. Wow. Everybody I know is getting divorced. No, they ain't, they ain't happening here. Mm -mm. Not happening. Nope. So what you got to say, baby? Well, I just got Ask some advice from grandma, married woman. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, we're older, but when it comes to marriage, we're children. <laughs> so communication is so yes. essential. 
It is. How do you determine which is a battle that you should fight or bring up with your husband opposed to one that you should dismiss and overlook? Yeah, tell her because how. Because you <laughs> often hear choose your battles. So what determines what is a major battle? Well, the is, thing if something is, gets under your skin a lot or not. Okay. I, I hear that analysis. Great. However, you have to remember the battles that you choose sometimes leads to war. So do you want to take it to the next level if you decide to venture into that zone? Do you, if you mm -hmm. don't want to go to war, leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Is it going to make it to where he's not able to wake up and smile at you the next day? Mm -hmm. Is it really going to be that serious to where it's just going to drag you down and you just can't function anymore. Mm -hmm. If it's not, let it go. Mm -hmm. It's not that serious. It's a learning process. Some get it earlier, some don't. Mm -hmm. But the best thing you can do is don't go to bed mad. And when you talk, you talk. Mm -hmm. Not just yell stuff and just to say something. No, really talk. Mm -hmm. So what she's saying, is there anything awesome. to win, anything to gain no. by having some of the interactions we have that get tense? If there's nothing really to gain or you're not trying to build anything and you're just going off because you just don't right. like it, then it's probably a battle that's not worth fighting, right? No, it's, it's not. not worth it. Because it, it really do you want isn't. to fight to get your way yeah. or do you want to fight for peace? And fighting for peace mm -hmm. often is being silent. That's right. Because yes. peace is only accomplished when you're peaceful. <laughs> and if you start raising the roof, that is no longer peace. Mm -mm. And either you're in a relationship to be happy mm -hmm. or you're in a relationship to bring your conflict of life and inflict it on another person for your own mm -hmm. ego mm -hmm. and your own whim. Mm -hmm. You know, choose peace, which means, ah, eh, that bothers me a little bit, but it's not worth it. I'll just move. Right. Or I, I'll just, you know, they didn't mean any harm. Right. It's just one of those things. Now, and, if they did something malicious, of course you speak up. You don't absolutely. get serious. Absolutely. absolutely. But if, if there's something that gets to you, then how you approach it is, you know, it really hurt my feelings when you did. Not, why did you go and do da 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 Exactly. You don't need you any know? of that. One puts a person right. the defensive true. and another right. makes right. a person right. feel remorseful for their mm -hmm. action. Yeah, if really you say you really that. hurt I, me, mm -hmm. you're going to get a different reaction from why are you always accusatory. Mm -hmm. accusatory makes a person get defensive yes. Yes. and they're going to hold true. their ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you say you hurt me and they love you, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. baby, I'm sorry. Right. I didn't sorry. know they did that. And you get I, those I good that. results. Yes. It's mm -hmm. that simple. It the is. same mm -hmm. problem. It's just the right. approach angle. Well, right. It's, it's so most of the time, it's not what you say. It's, yeah. it's how it's, you say, say it. it. Yeah. Right. So yes. you can go a long way by just saying, I, I was hurt by mm -hmm. what you said or that hurt my feelings. Instead of just saying, you hurt my feelings and I'm upset with you. Right. You might say the same thing, but because of the way you say it, you're not getting the same response. If you lead a frustration with saying you, 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 mm -hmm. it's usually mm -hmm. going to end up going bad. Yes. Right. You, the, you always, you. Because it's accusatory. That's right. Right. If you say, baby, I need to tell you something. When you did that, that really hurt me. Mm -hmm. That includes him. Then you invoke right. their love and their compassion mm -hmm. for your mm -hmm. feelings. Yes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you challenge them, and they're probably going to rise the occasion, and it'll just melt down into a bra, a verbal <laughs> bra. <laughs> yeah. And then you kiss and make up. Oh, yeah. make up. <laughs> We're not making up for anything. We're just kissing. <laughs> and you kiss, that's two calories, honey. So kiss away. Kiss Calorie away. counter kissing. Kiss away. Woohoo. <laughs> so Raul, drop some wisdom Keep on the us. Peace in the how home. did how did you do what you do twenty two years? What what's the secret to success? Oh, as I said, uh, I concentrated on providing. Uh, obviously we have four children and they kept us grounded. Mm -hmm. uh, as as they grow, they, they require more attention. That their time, is, it becomes your time. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I did is I, I tried to concentrate on work. She managed the house. And as I was being successful at work, she was being successful raising the children. Together, we built a house to where we can, you know, at any moment, swap the roles. Uh, mm -hmm. Always together, always in the same, on the same path. But both of us trying to achieve two separate things for the betterment of the house. That's why she loves him. See, mm -hmm. what makes him it's so beautiful. big is quiet focus. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. He's not trying to be the star. Mm -hmm. He's trying to be the rock. 
That's mm-hmm. right. He wants her to shine. That's why she has all the pretty hair. <laughs> yes. And you know, she's the she's big the personality. Queen. You know, I got a pretty big personality going here too. <laughs> but you know, the thing that he provided is this is my wife. She had my children. I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to be mm-hmm. consistent. Yes. I'm going to be the rock. And through that, he gains her respect. Yes. And he doesn't have to fight about little things because she knows my man's handling business. So I don't need to worry about those kind of details. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's what makes marriage work. Mm-hmm. What they yeah. essentially said is they have standard traditional core values. Mm-hmm. The marriage values that have lasted throughout centuries. Not these new marriage values of the last 40 years that don't last two or three years. Wow. So we need to regress to progress yes. because right yes. now people's mindsets are going in the wrong way because they're led by the media. Yes. They're led by the music you listen to. Yes. They're led by your celebrities who lead these dysfunctional lives and you're all excited when they get married and then you're all excited when they break up because then it feels normal because That's they're correct. like you. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Those mm-hmm. are not your role models. Yeah. These should be your role models. People who are actually making it work mm-hmm. and years later, they're just as happy as we are after one year. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wisdom. Yes. That's why the That's Bible it. tells you to speak to the elders. And we bow to them, even though <laughs> we're their bow. senior. But yeah. we bow to them it's because okay, they're our elders okay. in marriage. It's okay. Yes, we, it's we, okay. we can't even hang. I mean, we're just, <laughs> no. we're sitting eating off their table like, That's wow, it. we want to be like you. We're learning. Yeah. That's it. It's a blessing to know you. Yeah. You know? And it's Likewise. a blessing for us to have yes. you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Have you Thank also you. in our in our family mm-hmm. because Thank you. you you bring to us what we want to see on other marriages mm-hmm. is to get to know us and be at us, maybe learn one or two things that will help you endure the marriage. So yeah. thank yeah, you for yeah. being here today. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. Thank you. So that's the Happy Husbands and Wives Club. Yes. Happy in San husbands, Diego on the road. Wives. In San Diego on the road. Hopefully coming to your town soon. And we want you to join our club if you're happily married. That's a yes. condition. We yes. want you to come and do a video with us and Please do. give your insight to help yes. others. Yes. You know, we have to be helpers one to another. Yes. And anything that any of us who are successful at anything can do to help other people, it's our obligation. It is. That's because right. if we don't speak up, the values of the things that well it takes to make marriage work mm-hmm. are going to drip out of the earth. Yes. And things are going to fall apart. So much love. Much love. And bye. 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 <laughs>